And they're a good team, a uh, good offense. You know, they have two different kind of quarterbacks. We have to um, you know, play against one as a runner and one as a passer. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. How difficult is it preparing for two quarterbacks? Um, it's, it's kind of difficult because one is a really like a runner, like basically a running back playing quarterback. And the uh, other one's a thrower. But, um, you know, I think Coach Clancy has a good scheme for him, and uh, we should be good. What's it been like for you getting more involved the last couple of weeks and getting to kind of prove yourself again? Uh, it feels back in like my junior year when I started at Nickel. You know, uh, it feels good to be back out there. Um, you know, getting a lot of reps and uh, starting to get comfortable game by game. How tough was the first part of the year when you weren't getting those opportunities? Uh, you know, it's, it's always tough when you're not playing, but um, you know, I just stay stay grinding. You know, focus on my assignments, and um, you know, I, I know my time will come. Did you have any talks with the coaches about that? Um, you know, here and there, you know, they said it's gonna get me in. Um, you know, I'm just glad I'm in this position now. Did you feel like you needed to shake any rust off, or did you jump back in and kind of like you had this? Uh, you know, I just jump back in because you know, like I said, like during practice, I'll act like I'm in the game. You know, prepare like I'm a starter. And, uh, you know, now, now the time has come, and I'm, I'm just comfortable now. What, was there any lingering health issues coming off of last year? Uh, you know, my hip was hurting a little bit. You know, the, the doctor said it's normal, you know, for it to hurt within a year. But um, you know, I'm fine now. My hip's feeling good, and I'm just ready to go. That, that first game, you got back in there for a full lot of snaps. How uh, validating was that to come out and play the way you did? Yeah. Um, you know, last. Yeah, I played a ASU when I was starting, so yeah. I kind of knew, you know, what they were going to do and what kind of routes they were going to run. So, um, you know, the tape really helped me, you know, studying them. And, uh, yeah, played out well. So this week, are you preparing for corner, nickel? How uh, are you working it? Yeah, both. You know, I don't know if Biggie's going to go yet. Or, I don't know, I'm just ready for a corner and nickel. So I've been practicing out here, corner and nickel, how I'm splitting the reps. So, you know, whatever happens, you know, I'll be ready. Not to harp on, on, but I'm just curious. Like during the season, were the people you leaned on or people you, you talked to just kind of keep you up and keep you a little bit? It's, it's kind of like a, a myself thing, you know. Um, you know, talking to my parents. You know, um, it's just for myself, you know. I kept telling myself, you know, my time's gonna come, or just keep practicing, keep practicing hard. But um, you know, it's all about it's all about talking to yourself and being prepared. Was there an especially tough moment where you had to wonder, is it gonna come? Uh, Okay, so uh, I don't know. I just know that it, it was it was tough, you know, being on the sideline, kind of from being a starter. Yeah. But um, you know, that's how things work out, and, uh, and I'm just glad to be in this moment right now. What's the feedback you got from the coaches after the last couple of games? Uh, the past have been playing good. You know, um, just study more film. Uh, you know, there's certain errors I made, but I expect that. You know, not being on the field a lot, but um, yeah, I'm good to go now. What's your comfort corner relative to nickel? Where, where do you feel best? Um, you know, either one, corner or nickel. It doesn't matter. Um, it's just different schemes, different calls at a different position. So, um, you know, as time goes on, or I don't know what's going to happen this game, but I'm ready for both. In the big picture, how important is this ending to your career to, to end it the way you are, being the main contributor? Yeah, you know, it's you know, my senior season, so, you know, I'm happy to be out there for my last couple of games. Um, just try to pull as much film as I can. And, um, hopefully, things end out well. The trend in college football is, you know, when things aren't going well, you know, people look at, you know, this grad transfer option, all these different things that guys can do when, you know, when things aren't going well, they want to change or whatever. You know, what made you stick it out here, even though things maybe weren't going exactly as you wanted? Um, you know, I'm a competitor, you know, um, in this SC, you know, I don't want to leave this place. Um, you know, people in my area transfer, transfer here, transfer there, but I don't want to do that. You know, I want to stay here and just grind it out, and um, so hopefully when my time comes, I'll be ready. When you look at the Pac-12 South still kind of out there for your last year, it's, yeah. it's you know, a few things have to happen. But Yeah, no, I'm pretty I mean, you know, whatever happens, you know, hopefully we get to play for a Pac-12 championship, but, um, you know, whatever happens, happens. But I'm just trying to focus on these last couple of games and try to go undefeated in November.